Hi everybody, chapter 26, Strange Looking Cow. Amy took a deep breath. The way Rahul had designed the turbo chaser to fit any situation, with all his little add-ons, was incredible, but she was still the one who had to drive it. And even if he had somehow been expecting that they might have had to drive through a field, she had not. Certainly not a field of cows, but there seemed to be a little choice, except turning back and giving up. Amy was not going to do that, so she turned the steering wheel to the left and pushed the direction lever forward, driving towards where, as the lights on the front of the vehicle showed, a small track led to a field of cows. Take it slowly, said Jack. Thanks, Jeremy Clarkson, said Amy. They went through onto the grass. She could feel how different it was straight away. The car rolled and dragged, the tyres slipping and sliding over the damp terrain. It was harder to control. Um, where am I going? Rahul hit the screen. Oh my God, you've gone off the road. I have no idea where you are. What's going on? Hmm, said Rahul. Something seems to have happened to the sat-nav. Turn back, just stop, please. There could be cows in here and everything. Rahul hit it again. Pahu cham filter. Ah, what did that mean again? said Amy. Continue for a mile, said Jack. Thank you. Happy to help. Okay, I'll just go in as straight as line as I can. Ah! That ah was because in the middle of a, the line of straightness, she was trying to go in, was a cow quite clearly hit by the bright moon and the headlights. For those of you interested in cows, it was a Frisian, with black patches on a mainly white body. But really, all you need to know is that suddenly there was a big wall of leather and they were heading right towards it. Amy swerved to the right, where there was another cow, staring at her in a kind of, this is interesting, way. She swerved again. Everyone in the car screamed. Her hand moved the direction lever forward, slowly making the engine roar, but without moving forward. Why are you revving up? shouted Jack. I said, take it slowly. I'm trying to get away from the cows. Plus, if you knew anything about driving, you'd know I can't drive too slowly on this grass. We'd get stuck. We'd get stuck, said Jack sarcastically. Yes, we would actually, said Rahul, which made Jack shut up quite quickly. Because, cool and sarcastic, 14 year old or not, he really didn't want to get stuck in this field in the middle of the night. Amy swung the car left, then right, slaloming like she had through the dustbins, but now through the cows. It was a great piece of driving and she seemed to have got them through the field safely. Most of the cows just watched them go by, glad to have something a little bit different going on to break up the evening. But suddenly, OK, said Rahul, pointing. If you go through that gap in the hedge, we'll be through this field and we can go out to the road beyond. What's that noise? said Jack. Sorry, that was me, said Janet. I had beans for dinner. No, not that noise. That one. That sounded snarling and panting. It's that said Amy, pointing directly in front of them. Janet and Jack leant over from the back, lit up by their own headlights and by the powerful light of the moon, was another pair of eyes, 
only this time angry, staring, not friendly. Below the eyes was a wide black nose pierced with an enormous metal ring and above a set of large sharp horns. Hmm, that's a strange looking cow, said Janet. Chapter 27. Not right at all. Bull, Janet, said Amy. Don't be rude. It is a strange looking cow. No, I mean... Okay, said Jack quietly. The thing to do is just be very, very quiet. And it's in our way, Janet continued, leaning over and pressing the horn. Bam! It really was very loud. Janet, said all three of the others. What, she said, perping it again. Bam! Get out of the way, you silly weird cow! The silly weird cow, which, as I think you know, was not a cow, looked very, very angry at the noise. It's a bull, Janet, shouted Amy, and it's come right by us. How do you know that, said Janet. Look! The bull had indeed started to do that thing that bulls do, of putting its head down and pawing at the ground on its front hooves, which... It's chiru generally doesn't mean, oh, hi, nice human, please come and give my horns a friendly stroke. What are we going to do? I've got an idea, said Rahul. I can press the hazard button. How will that work? No one's even here to see it. It makes the car into a matador. It makes the car into a doormat, said Janet. No, said Rahul, a matador, a bullfighter. You must have seen them on the internet. Men in Spain who wear funny clothes and fight bulls. Oh, yes, I don't really approve of them, said Amy, because it's not a fair fight and they always end up killing the bulls. Can we have the ethical discussion later? And Jack, how does pressing the hazard button help? Rahul's finger lingered on the button. The way the matador dodges the bull is by using a red cape. So, he pressed the button and a red flag came out of the back left-hand corner of the turbo chaser. We'll use our hazard flag as a cape. Um, said Amy. Don't they use red because the colour makes bulls? <gasps> He's charging! He's charging straight at us! He looks really angry! shouted Janet. Yes, that would be the word I was looking for, said Amy. She looked at Rahul. I hope this works. So do I, said Rahul. And then a thought came into Amy's head. The first thing you need to do to get over a problem is believe you can. It was one of her mum's annoying inspirational quotes. What was it doing in her head now? Although weirdly, it seemed to help how she felt about the whole situation. It didn't help much, but it helped a little. She pulled down hard on the steering wheel and threw the direction lever forward. The turbo chaser spun round, so that the hazard flag was facing the bull. He's still charging at us, shouted Janet. I hate to agree with Janet, but he is, shouted Jack. Right, said Amy to Rahul, I'm going with your matador idea. So when I say no, press the hazard button again. Oh, no! Frantically, Rahul pressed the button. The flag flew back in the car, which meant the bull, who had been aiming for it, ran straight through nothing and kept going. Brilliant, Amy, said Rahul, looking over his shoulder. Thanks. She looked over her shoulder too, 
the bull skidded to a halt. It frowned as if to say, eh, what happened? But then slowly, and with a strong sense of being even more annoyed now, he turned around. But I don't think it's over. Let's go. Amy threw the direction lever forward. The turbo chaser moved towards the gap in the hedge again. But it took a while to get up to speed on the wet grass. And she could hear the bull approaching. She could also see it approaching in her rear view mirror. It's going to spear us from behind, shouted Janet. What an agonising crash it did. With a terrible crunch, the bull's horns came into contact with the back of the turbo chaser. Ah! cried Janet and Jack. Amy reached over and pressed the hazard button again. The red flag popped out once more. The bull, distracted, swerved away from the car towards it. Amy swung the car in the opposite direction. The bull swung towards it. Amy turned back again. The bull followed. They went round and round in a figure of eight. The bull continually trying to headbutt the hazard flag. Amy continually swerving out of the way at the last minute. I know what to do, said Jana. She took out her phone. Jack looked at her. You're going to call the farmer? The RSPCA? The cowboy who might want to be able to rodeo this monster out of here. Janet shook her head and clicked on her phone. Immediately, music started playing out of the Bluetooth speaker that Rahul had blue tacked to the dashboard. What is that? shouted Jack. It's a song my mum really likes. A beaver's banana, I think it's called. Oh, this year I'm off to sunny Spain. A viva España, came out of the speaker. I just thought some Spanish music felt right, Janet continued. And indeed, you had been perhaps passing the field at that moment and seen the whole scene from afar. Many things about the sight of a weird car with a red flag dodging a chasing bull would not have felt right at all. But something about the music would have done. I'm off to sunny Spain. So, Amy and her friends are off to Scotland, but they've just talked about Spain. So if you could go anywhere that you wanted to go, where would it be? Draw us a picture and send it into school. Bye.